everyone welcome to tech wide in this video we are going to solve problem number 2306 naming a company so we are going to solve this problem in order of n time and order of n space now let's dive into the logic and the solution so here i have taken the first example from the leetcode website here i have four strings so i need to find the distinct names that can be formed okay i need to find distinct names that can be formed okay by swapping the first letter first letter of two chosen names so which means i need to first pick two names and i need to swap for example i need to swap c and d okay i need to concatenate these words like this with a space in between okay and i need to check whether this word is unique so unique in the sense i need to see whether this word is in my list or not in the given input if it is there it is not valid if it is not there then it is valid okay and also this is also valid right this is also a valid name so if i found one distinct name like that it is guaranteed that it will be valid in the other way also okay for example if i concatenate 1 and 2 it is guaranteed that 2 and 1 also will be distinct and it is also calculated as distinct name there is also another case for example if i pick coffee and toffee okay and i swap the first letter of both the words here it becomes t and here it becomes c and i need to check whether this combination these words are there in my list or not if it is there this this is not valid okay here toffee and coffee is there right so it's not a valid combination okay i need to skip this we will see how we are going to solve this particular problem so here i'm going to create a dictionary of set okay so i'm going to pick the first letter the first character of each and every word i'm going to make that as keys and i'm going to use hash function on the suffix part of each and every word this hash function will give me a unique value of that suffix part okay each and every unique suffix part will have a different or a unique number assigned to it so for example here hash of ofi will have a unique value unique large in integer whether it is negative or a positive it will have a unique value okay then here another hash of of is there right these two hash values will be same since both are having same suffix toffee and coffee are having the same suffix right so both hash values will be same so it is assigning hash values for this suffix part so like that i am having unique values for each and every word i am having a set here okay these are set dictionary of set so that each and every key will have a unique hash values inside this set okay then i will write two for loops in order to pick the first two words okay i need to pick each and every word right from my dictionary then i am going to pick the two words from my dictionary so here i will pick c so c will be in my a and set a will be the corresponding hash values in the set and i am going to have another for loop in order to pick my second word so whenever and i have same character so for in the first iteration i am going to pick a and b as same right so in order to avoid that i will pick c and c a will be c b will be c right so in order to avoid that i'm going to write a condition where a is greater than 
B. So which means avoid the duplication. So for example, if I pick donuts here, okay, for example, if I pick donuts here, so in the next for loop, I will pick coffee, right? Because I would have finished this combination previously. So I'm not looking this side. I will only look in the right side. For example, if I have I and J, I would have found a distinct name with I and J, right? So I don't have to find a name again with J and I. Okay. For example, when I pick coffee and donuts at start, I would have found a distinct name with coffee and donuts right so when i pick donuts i don't have to check coffee again since i've already processed i've already found a distinct name so i can just proceed with the next word that's what i'm going to write a condition here okay so initially a will be c and b will be d okay set a will be some hash value for of it and set b will be some hash value for onets okay so here it will be unique value here it will be unique value then i will take the intersection of these sets this is set a and set b i will take the intersection whether i have any common hash values between them okay then i'm going to get the number of common hash values that I have in this intersection. I will use len here. Okay. Then I'm going to subtract the common suffix in both of my set. Okay. So for example, so I'm going to take the length of this set A and I'm going to minus this common suffix, the number of common suffix in both set A and set B. Then I'm going to multiply this with length of set B minus same. I'm subtracting the number of common suffix in both in my set A and set B and I'm multiplying that. Then I'm going to add that in my result. So in this case, set A will be one, right? There is only one value minus zero since there is no common in this case there is no common hash function there is no common hash value both will be unique so it will be same will be zero in this case when i pick coffee and donuts the number of common suffixes zero okay so i'm going to minus that with my length of my set a and length of my set B. Both will be 1 and minus 0 and both of them. If I multiply them, I'm going to get 1. I'm going to add that in my result. So result will be 1 right now. Now I will pick C and T. Okay. So here T has been used for both my time and toffee. Okay. It has been since both have same starting character. Both are stored in the same set. Okay, so here I have set A, one I've kept for offy. I'm just putting it randomly. Okay, and I have one for another offy in my T. Since toffee and coffee have same suffix, so I'm putting the same value here. Same suffix will have the same value. Okay, and this three represent I'm, I am E. Okay. I'm just making it randomly but it will be a very large integer and I'm going to take the common suffix both of my set A and set B and if I take common I'm going to get one right since I have offy in both of my set here so it the length will be one so in this case same will be one so I'm going to get rid of that in both in set A and set B okay so I do that so the length of set A is 1 and if I subtract same it will be 0 right this will be 0 then length of set B is 2 and if I subtract 1 it is going to be 1 in this case 
and I'm, if I multiply it will be 0 again. So I'm just leaving the result as it is. Like that we need to do for each and every combination. And at the end when returning result, I will return it with result into 2. I discussed earlier, right? If Doffy and Cornets is right, if it is valid, then Cornets and Doffy is also one valid name, right? It is also valid. I'm not adding that combination here. So it is guaranteed if one distinct name can be formed with two words. So there will be another word can also be formed. So I'm going to make it result into two at the end. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So now I'm going to have a dictionary of set. Okay, I'm going to have dictionary of set. Then I'm going to pick the first characters of each and every word and I'm going to assign the hash values. Okay, I'm going to assign the hash values for the suffix part of each and every word. So I'm going to assign the hash values here. Okay, then I will be having my result. Initially, it will be zero. Then I will be writing the two for loops. So the first letter will be picked here from my dictionary. So this will give me key and value. The value will be the set. Okay, then I will write another for loop to pick the second word from my dictionary and I will write the if condition to avoid the duplicate counting okay I don't count each and every combination twice so if I see a duplicate counting I'm going to just continue then I'm going to get the common suffix, the number of common suffix both of from both of my set A and set B. This will give me the intersection. Set A intersection set B. That's what here is. Then I'm going to take the length of the set. That will be my number of common suffix in my two sets. So then I'm going to take length of set A. And I'm going to subtract the common suffix, the number of common suffix from length from the set A. And I'm also going to do that in my set B. I'm just subtracting the common suffix in both my set A and set B. And I will multiply them. And I will add this in my result. Then finally, I'm going to return the result by multiplying it with 2. I am multiplying it with 2 because if I have one distinct name can be formed with two words then it is guaranteed I can form other combination. If I exchange and concatenate those two words and it is it will be another distinct name. In order to consider that I am multiplying with 2. Now let's run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. So as I discussed earlier, the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is order of n as well. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. And also press the bell icon in order to get notifications whenever I upload. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.